sir. What you want to do is open the fireworks. Once you have fireworks open, create a new fireworks file. And follow these steps exactly as I do it because creating the file is the most important uh, part of uh, doing this whole thing. So press create new fireworks file. <clears throat> now make sure you do this part exactly as I do it. Make the width and height 32 by 32. And then for the canvas color, click on custom. Then click right here. And then just move your mouse to right here. It says mask. Move it right there. And it automatically selects this pink background that is in icon art. So whatever you draw on top of this background won't show up in your cursor. So, and that's a really cool thing that Fireworks has to offer. It's a really good thing. So then press OK. And now from this point on, you could just do anything you want, make any picture you want, whatever. So let's say I'm just going to draw a circle real quick and type in TSGB. Okay, so let's do this real quick. Okay, and there we have it, TSGB, and it has the black background, circle, whatever. Okay, so once you're done with whatever you want to, uh, whatever you want to make it, however you want to make it, once you're done with that, go to File and Save As. And this part is really important too. Remember, when clicking Save As, save, don't save it as a PNG file, the fireworks file, save it as a BMP. And then I'm just gonna save it to my desktop and TSGB cursor. Save. Okay, after you're done with that, go back to icon art, click file, new project, and just start a new project, whatever. And then go to file, import from file and open up that file that you just made on uh, on fireworks and then this should come up that just press this check mark since the size is already good 38 by 38 press the check mark and you should have this and it's as simple as that it's just that so now just go ahead and repeat the steps same frame save frame as cursor and I'm gonna save it as TSGB default cursor and go back to where is it? Go back to that window right here, the pointers tab, double click on normal select. Go to wherever you saved it and click on the thing that you just made. Click apply. And there you have it. It's my cursor right now. It's tilted instead of the normal the normal straight way it was and yeah, it's as simple as that, and you can make it really detailed like this. In fact, I have a cursor that I scanned my face, or I scanned um, a picture of me on my printer, and I actually made my cursor my face, and it looked really cool. So, yeah, you guys could get really detailed with this, and if you don't have fireworks, then you could just create your um, normal icon, or your normal cursor, just like that. It's really as simple as that, so hope you guys learned something today. Be creative with this, it's really awesome. And goodbye.